hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how to get a custom url for your web pages in a java jsp project so i have in my previous video i have shown you how to uh, create uh, yeah, this uh, login project using java and jsp and let me login and show you what i'm going to uh, do now i've just logged in the password is one two three four five six okay so i have just uh, logged in as you can see here uh, the link of my url here it is it's showing all uh, the path of your page and even in other page also you can see here it's uh, given the dot jsp so how to hide this dot jsp and uh, look uh, look it very good so i'll show you one of my project uh, library project where let me log in here okay i have just logged in you can see here uh, the home page is admin home and if i'm going to another one it's admin add category so i have hidden the dot jsp extension and for each page i have given my custom your uh, url here so how to do this in our this project so i'm going to show you that so going back to the uh, eclipse again uh, where your dynamic web project is there so inside uh, the web by in web content and web by nf folder uh, there will be a web xml uh, automatically created if it's not uh, automatically created just create it just uh, right click and go to new file and uh, give the name as uh, web.xml okay so this is actually an xml file we are going to create there just click finish here it is we have created the web xml file so we are if you are opening that it will be empty so i'm going to copy paste the default things uh, what a web xml uh, will be having so this is how your web xml will be there where you can see the welcome file uh, list this welcome file list is actually uh, your starting page of your project so if you are just right clicking uh, your project and going to run as and then click on run and server any of this will be your starting uh, page okay so ours is index.jsv so we are uh, configuring here which page or which is the starting page of your project okay now inside this we have to put some code actually our uh, pages is home and my profile as you can see here home and my profile is the so these two pages are actually uh, getting loaded here okay now we should add some code here so I have opened some tags here uh, name is servlet servlet name tag jsp tag servlet tag and servlet mapping tag inside that servlet name again and the url pattern so this is the one which we need to uh, configure uh, the custom URL for your pages okay so first we'll go for the servlet name servlet name you can put anything there so I'm just putting here as home I'll show you what it is actually okay servlet name put uh, here and here same always okay servlet name should be same always here and uh, in the jsp file we should put the path of the jsp file so the path of the jsp file is a uh, profile uh, slash profile slash uh, view slash uh, home dot jsp just give a slash here also and uh, the url name what you want so i'm uh, putting it as uh, user profile user home page okay so i have just given a custom url pattern for this home.jsp now let's try running this so we should restart the server okay the server has been stopped uh, we should restart the server uh, if uh, we have uh, updated anything in web.xml so let me start it again i'm just right clicking and going to run as run on server okay the project loaded now going back to our chrome let me log out and refresh again and just log in one two three four five six yes we have it's a still view home.jsp so what we have to do is here in the controller in the sign in controller if it is success we are just uh, giving this link so instead of this link 
I am going to give uh, the new link here user home page just copy this home page link come back here paste it here okay so it's all a, a new one now new user home page instead of all the complete link we are just pasting that uh, new link now let me go back to the index page again refresh refresh now login again and logging it again submit here it is here is a uh, the uh, link has been changed to user home page so we have uh, given the custom url for the home now if i'm just clicking profile it won't work it will give a for not for error because we should uh, give the uh, custom url for that page also so going back to our web xml and uh, copying all these again come down paste it here and uh, I'm giving the uh, servlet name as you can give any name here, but it is not uh, reflecting anywhere in the front end. So it's uh, myprofile.jsp, and I'm changing the name as user profile. Okay, I'm changing the name as user profile. Now uh, go to your servers, restart your server again, come back to your project. Okay, in the tab, we should uh, change the tab also like that. So here it's just home.jsp. It should not be home just home.jsp. I'll it should be changed. So the home page is this one. Now going to home page in the tab section. I'm just pasting these two here. And uh, in the user home and uh, the profile is actually user profile. Okay. Come back to home. User profile it's here okay now let me copy the same thing in the my profile page also paste it here yes we are all set now going back to the project logout okay the logout also not work i'll you should add for that also okay wait yes here it is so in the index from the index here, we can start i'm just logging in again yes we got the user home page now if i'm going to profile it should take me to the user profile okay so it should be take on clicking it will take one by one as it is as we have given the okay now if i want to pass one more variable here in any cases if i'm just passing it here it will give an error okay so if you want to in any cases if you want to pass one more variable there you have to go to the web.xml and here you can see the home page just give a slash and star here okay now save it in the servers just restart it and i'm going to make a small modification here in the page now if uh, the sign in is successful i'll give uh, the name of the user here itself let's see get uh, username and close the braces okay let's try that now now i'm going back to the index page again it's all restarted now now let me log in again password one two three four five six submit here it is the username is also uh, also passing so if you want to pass any variable after uh, the URL just put a star in the web.xml okay it will take as like that and uh, the logout also will not work since we have not configured this one so let me configure that also copy paste everything here and uh, in the sign out controller just copy it and uh, just put the servlet name that one again i'm saying you can put any servlet name the criteria is these two should match okay so it's in the controller part okay and uh, okay now here in the also i'm just pasting that one now going back to the home page in the sign out section you can see here this is we have navigated manually we don't need that just copy all these paste it here wait uh, paste it here and instead of this user profile change the name as sign slash sign out controller okay so it's slash sign out controller okay and the same thing 
just copy in the my profile page also so you can just log out from that there also log out here okay now what just happened here yeah, inside this one correct now let me restart the server again going back to, to the home page okay now just log in again oops uh, one two three four five six if i'm just giving profile it will take you to profile page home page profile page home page and if i'm going to log out you can see down the link it's a login project slash sign out controller okay it's, it will take to the sign out controller and sign out successfully okay so i have shown you how to get a custom url for your uh jsp pages and hide the jsp extension so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i will be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching